yeah, we got the proposal last episode. And as you know, I loved it. I think it was amazing. Um, yeah, you could say it's long-winded, but it's everything I wanted. And as a big Barney and uh, Robin Shipper, I loved every moment of that episode. Um, no, I look forward to hopefully just seeing them as a couple for a bit. I hope the wedding doesn't come. I hope the wedding's at the end of the season. I don't want it to come anytime soon um, because obviously I know it's going to clearly go wrong. But I just want to see a date for a bit, you know, just get some get some get some dating in there for a bit. Um, I think this episode said he's going to try and get his dad's permission. So I'm looking forward to that. That sounds like a really uh, cool episode. We get to see Robin's dad. So I look forward to it. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting episode. So guys, if you enjoyed the reaction, leave a like, subscribe. Let's shoot some more. How about you, mother? Three, two, one, play. What do you guys think it is? Are you hungry? Well, that must be it. <laughs> Thank you for thinking of that, Ted. And here we were just watering him and facing him towards the sunlight. <laughs> Sorry, that was out of sarcasm. Who <laughs> it for you? First thing we need to do is She has a binder. Offer to help with the planning a little. And well, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. That's a big binder. Oh, this? This is just cakes. Anyway. <laughs> Lily's face. Did you guys go my dad? He's a scary guy. Please. I think I can handle <laughs> <laughs> To be fair. <laughs> and then it got really scary. What? I'm glad you could meet me here at my favorite restaurant. Carol and I come here all the time. What's going on? I you Has Carol changed him? <laughs> um, sir, I, I, I had permission denied. <laughs> Whoa! Spaghettis. This time with a plan. Hello, Mr. Shabotsky. I think we got off on the wrong what foot. What are you wearing? You have my attention. What the fuck? So I can talk to you spaghetti to spaghetti. He's going the extra mile right now. I'm serious about marrying your daughter. Barney. He dyed his hair. What the fuck? Mother. A bathroom? Well, I mean, don't you think? Yes, Robin, good. You're here. Why did so chilled about that? That wedding band you wanted is booked for May 25th. Oh no! What are you gonna do? You oh, booked it, didn't you, Ted? And would it be okay if they invited their friends, Beyonce and and Abba and the Bee Gees? And Journey and Queen. What is your little face? You, you hire a DJ. Wicka, 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 burn. Oh! Time impression. Well, my dad is actually not that bad of a guy. Do it, Barney. Just squeeze that trigger. I don't want to do this. You think I wanted to kill that bear? Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> what are we killing? I can't do this. What the fuck? What the hell is this? Your dad is crazy. He wanted me to kill Fluffy Nutter. I told you not to give him a name. Well, I did. I did. <laughs> Sorry, he comes you obviously have no interest in involving me in your personal life. I may as well tell you. Barney and I are already engaged. That's right. I'm behind you on this road. Yeah, it's with black hair. <laughs> And since I wasn't invited Didn't realize how I iconic. Ooh. Set down the law. You left this guy with a oh, gun. No. Oh, I just called up that wedding man's road manager. And it is this, so Ted. Into giving up the band. You did what? That is so dishonest. No matter what happens next, I, I think we can all agree you're in the wrong here, Lily. It's your number. <laughs> Such a dickhead. <laughs> Thought you were okay letting her go, but now that she's really gone, it hurts. Kids, at that point in my life, I'd been hurt quite a few times already. Today, we're gonna braid friendship bracelets. What? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck that, we've been through so much. I'm not the goat. Hey Schmosby, remember when you took it in your pants up by the lake? It's so weird when you go back to so far.
I don't even remember that. No. <sighs> Oof. That text message and found out Robin was engaged. It was like. <laughs> 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 that was well it's this is oof I'll give you an out and how are you going to do that by saying something that is even more awful like what oof. sometimes i wish i wasn't a mom sometimes i want to pack a bag and leave in the middle of the night and not come back robin shouldn't be with barney she should be with Hey, Lily and Ted actually got a moment. Jesus. Have you talked to Marshall about how you feel? Have you talked to Robin about how you feel? Fair enough. <laughs> that was a good argument. I just think we have to accept our loss in life. And mm. I have to be a mom to a, a beautiful, wonderful, if slightly constipated little boy. And you have to let Robin and Barney. Miss Dykey. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hey, you finally give a daddy a smile? Oh. Oh. oh you poor motherfucker. Oh. Oh, that's grim. <laughs> you wanted you want to know what i want my dad a normal dad that's all <sighs> anything i mean he's never apologized to me in his life barney made it happen oh he must really love me it would be crazy not to i'm really happy for you guys just like i said they would the wedding is in a week and no bands when will people realize i always know what's what he says to the lesbian, he dares their mom. That's a fair point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a good little cameo. <laughs> Wedding band's available at the last minute, would you? Ted, do you believe in destiny? You really don't know me, do you? We just had brunch with my ex-roommate. The bass player? No, she's not just a bass player. She's a bass player in the best wedding band in the tri-state area. They had a gig lined up. Oh, the, the girl. This morning. You, my friends, are going to save that wedding. Do you know any DJs? Fuck's sake! L let it go! <laughs> I don't, like I said, I don't know where the joke's built up like that. Lucky doesn't even begin to describe it. Oh wait, the wedding actually seems to go... So they get to the wedding, that's good! I would have met the mother. The teas. We've got a hand, people. Oh, we've got a hand before. Did we get a hand before? We gained a hand. <laughs> I don't know if we saw a hand before. <laughs> All right, that was a great episode. I fucking love that so much. Oh my! No, very good episode of How I Met Your Mother. I really, I, did, I enjoyed that fit scene on the rooftop. Like, I get it's like it's things say like, oh, I wish I wasn't really mum, but it's like everyone has those thoughts. Everyone has those moments of weaknesses. But it's the bravery of not running away from the problem and to keep facing it every day that I respect. And it fits with Lily's character of sort of one. She runs away from her problems. And she always does come back, even though I don't always agree with what she's doing. And I think that was a nice moment between her and Ted. Like I said, Lily, I thought Lily, as I said, when fucking proof of like Lily didn't really get those, as many friendship moments. Else. I think that was a really nice moment between her and Ted. Um, and it's just thoughts that you have. You've all had that friend. Or you maybe we've all probably had that friend. In this sort of situation, I don't know. It's a complicated one. And I like how they're handling it. I think they're doing a good job. And it looks like we get to the wedding. I thought that the wedding was going to fall apart beforehand. So I'm looking forward to the wedding. Oh my god! And we and we get to see them together a bit beforehand. So I'm excited. I'm curious to see when the wedding actually comes up. Um, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed the episode. I think I'm looking forward to see how the season's going to keep progressing. I'm loving it so far. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the reaction. And let's do this one. With my cucumber jalapeno egg cream. Chug it! Come on! Come on! Get Chug it! it. Oh God! Oh! 
Oh, it's a sad. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, seriously, Ted. Pretending to be someone else just to get laid, that's embarrassing. Your Highness. Let's go. <laughs> Marshall knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows he's the main course. Okay, you guys know how my mornings usually go. <laughs> usually it's like this. <laughs> Their face. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. That's self confidence. Or delusion. Be me. <laughs> what the fuck did I just imagine if that was your morning? Okay. Oh, it's because she's getting engaged. She's not signal anymore. Oh. Engagement ring. It's like when Bilbo Baggins wears the one ring in the Hobbit. Can you say that? I didn't even think that that was gonna be. The ring is like the cloak that Harry Potter wears to sneak around Hogwarts. I don't speak virgin either. Oh my god. It's Barney. What are you doing, Barney? This is definitely Barney. Oh, good. You're right. It didn't. You just wicked. No, it didn't. You just did it again. <laughs> Bottom line. <I laughs> that will do your head in. For me. <laughs> Most affordable city in the world. Now it's as rude and expensive as San Francisco. <laughs> oh, they go through a thing. Tell you, baby. Make it hurt. Gotta keep at least keep their relationship spicy. My panties. That slut just got it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are you saying that this invisibility thing means I might not be able to get beer? I was just getting used to the idea of having to pay for coffee and bagels and rent, rent. but not being able to get a beer. What? How would free shit? Excuse me, hot girl coming through. Try to take off the ring. Quit on a body that won't quit. Ooh, ooh, that'll go sweet in a bumper sticker. That's going in the journal. Did you steal Ted? <laughs> of course he did. Now get back in there before all your teeth. That needed a poppy of Ted's sticker. Is that R2 D2? Do you like Star Wars? <laughs> oh my god, he got there! <laughs> he connected! Wait. He got there. <laughs> it's almost like we were hooking up with her together. No, you no. I would have performed if I did. Don't you see Teddy? We had a bro action. For fuck's sake. I gotta know Oh yeah, those are plow me. Why do I feel like is she gonna look complete she's gonna look completely different from what Ted sees? What's gonna happen? What's the twist? Or does he know her? Ready to bone, am I right? <laughs> I say again, am I right? That's my half sister. And you probably shouldn't scroll to the next picture. <laughs> 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 no, why did you do that? I just, just, what the fuck, Barney? <laughs> Subject of family, I'm pretty sure you banged my mom. Mom beat sister. I never banged your mom. I love that. It's uh, funny. This morning, especially... Oh, Ted. Oh, yeah. How's your arm? Are you sure he's not just playing dead? He smells like Marshall's hand. <laughs> and wait, you you forgive me? Absolutely. Mm, what's up? What's the what what what's what uh what did what have you done? And you're opposed to cheap, meaningless, disgusting one night stands? Yes. Barney, don't you, don't you see? <laughs> Your detox is done. <laughs> <laughs> You've 
come over the other end, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Damn man, he don't even, he don't even, <laughs> just right, accepts it. It's okay. You still slept with my sister. Promise me you will never, ever do that again. I promise. Hey. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You swear, right? Yeah, of course. That's his little face like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, she, oh, we gotta do the thing. Ah, yeah, that's so cute. Oh, I love this. This is great. Perfection in an episode. Oh, what's going on, Ted? Before you say anything about the hats, this new girl's ass is full of did you enjoy it yourself, Ted? Whatever. <laughs> hey, Marshall, you didn't see this. The kids. <laughs> Chili Mac and Frito Pie for dinner. Oh. Smells like that menthol cigarette <laughs> she snuck while she was waiting to pick the kids up from hockey practice. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, I don't mind the show that's sideways for like the sex life. It's just, it's just funny. Uh, no, he's actually quite nice to touch his bottom nut. I don't really. Oh, no. That was another great episode. Season 8's. Like belting them out, maybe because I have a slight, just, just, just a teeny, teeny slight bias towards Robin and Barney, just a, just a tiny bit. Like it's not that massive, not that massive of a bias. But I love it. Oh my god, it's going so well. Oh, we're not even. Oh, I just hope the wedding is. A, I hope the wedding's a season finale. I hope we don't get the wedding anytime soon. I just want to. See them more dating and stuff. I'm enjoying it so much. Oh, I love this show. No, I've really, really great episode. I actually enjoy the Ted stuff, like the whole 20 year old thing. What was he like 32 in this? It's like Jesus Christ. I think like yeah, that's deep. Like, like five years. Like, it's five year below whatever above. Um, but no, um, no, I really enjoyed the episode. I think really well, well paced. Just a good episode. Um, yeah, no, and I think, no, just a really well-written episode. I just enjoyed them together. And the whole, like, uh, the, the him seeing him detoxing as well, I thought was funny. And then throwing in the, the click joke, as it's, like I say, just when jokes build up to when they're just funny at the end, just build up to a long joke at the end. It's always worth it. And it's something that I appreciate the show does quite often, actually. They tend to throw a joke in, and they utilise it, and then has a big payoff at the end, which is always the sign of just, like, fun jokes. Um, the episode before... No, it was just really two strong episodes, actually. No, I'm looking forward to it. I just want more of this. I'm enjoying this. So, so as I just said, we've actually got two seasons left. I would actually be happy if the mum showed up right now. Like, Jesus Christ, they aren't leaving it. They're just going to leave it to, like, a last episode thing. Like, they're actually going to show the mum for a bit. Like, I want to actually see the mum properly and just date Ted for a bit. That would actually be a lot of fun. Um, but no, overall, another successful episode of How I Met Your Mother. Two great episodes. I'm going to have to cut it short because I'm going out soon. Um, sorry if this goes up late on Patreon because I don't know how long I'll be drinking for, but it'll be when I get back, so it's going to be random when I'm away. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed the action. Leave a nice